And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show an easy carve text effect. We'll start with a texture. So just find yourself some wood image. I for example found this on Unsplash. Now I use the type tool. I type some text in, then control A and I size it up. For now it's black. I'll keep it like that. Now let me move it somewhat to the center. Find a good position first. Everything becomes harder when you want to reposition it after applying the effect. So make sure that you've got the right position. I use the alignment tool, left click on it and I put it in center right here. I'll find with this position. Now I'll change the blending mode to soft light for this layer, so my text layer. And if you want to change the color, right click on it, alpha 2 selection, then edit and fill with the foreground color, I've made it red. But obviously you want to have a darker color for this effect that looks the most realistic. It doesn't have to be a specific value, you can see that here. It's just a minor adjustment when you move it around in this black area. I'm fine with this. Let me invert it under select. And now I go to filter, light and shadow and use the drop shadow, but I use the legacy. And this is now going to be applied to the invert selection of the alpha text. Make sure that it's black. And for the offset, let me try 7 and 7. Blur radius, don't go too high. And make sure the opacity is 100%. It already looks good, but if you're not happy, just press Ctrl Z until the drop shadow is gone. Go to filters again, reshow, drop shadow. And maybe I'll just use 10 for the blur radius, confirm. And I think that's fine. So you're basically done at this point. But you can, if you want to have more contrast, add an outline to your text. Just open a new layer, make it transparent. It's on top of my text, but below the drop shadow. Now right click on the carve text layer, alpha 2 selection. I switch to my outline layer, I'll make it white. Then I go to edit and stroke the selection. Let me use 5 pixels. Afterwards, I'll change it to soft light as well and I decrease the opacity. Again, you don't have to do this, but if you want to increase the contrast and make your text more readable, it's a good idea to try it. And this is how you can create this calf text effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.